everybody. This is Scott Clement. Hello. Um, on February 11, 2010, I headed down to St. Louis for another speaking engagement for the Gateway 400 user group. I actually started out my trip on February 10th at home and um, decided to drive to St. Louis. It's about a five and a half hour drive, but uh, I thought it would be a relaxing sort of fun thing to do. So that's where I started. So I passed Racine, Wisconsin, and then Mars Cheese Castle. I mean, you have to have a landmark like Mars Cheese Castle in your video of your trip. It just You just have to. Then it's Kenosha, Wisconsin, and I was coming up on the Illinois border. Welcome to Illinois. And then I was, you know, before long, finding myself driving into Chicago. The stretch of highway between Chicago and St. Louis was historically part of Route 66, the famous highway. So I couldn't help but stop and see some of the Route 66 sites as I went along. Get your licks on Route 66. Over here is an old road. It doesn't look like it's use at all anymore. But I have to wonder if that wasn't the actual Route 66. From what I've heard of it, it's a small little uh, road. So this is supposedly a historic gas station. 66. This looks to be from that era. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty historical route. 66. And before I knew it, I was in St. Louis. When I go to St. Louis, one of the first things I ever want to do is, is go to Emo's Pizza. I just love Emo's Pizza. Mmm, <laughs> Emo's Pizza. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this pizza. Oh, there you go. Emo's Pizza, St. Louis style pizza at its best. I love this stuff. And then it was time to go to bed, so on the next day I was ready to speak. The next day was the big day at the Gateway 400 user group. Welcome to St. Louis! Thank you very much. Unfortunately, these glass doors being on one side of the room screwed up a lot of the lighting in this room, and it was hard to get good shots with my camera because of all this light on one side. So, this is Terry Silva. Say hi, Terry. Hey, how you doing, Scott? So, what's new with you? Well, I'm now working for Magellan. I moved here from Utah. Well, I thought it was going to be warmer here, but it's not. And behind where I'm speaking is this backdrop of Venice, Italy, with the gondolas you can see in the picture. One of my favorite places, actually, Venice, so uh, that's, that's, I think, very pretty. Are you a regular participant here? Come a couple of times a year. Yes. A couple of times a year. What sort of challenges are you working on your in your uh, job right now? Right now, we're trying to get Java to work on the 400. Trying to get Java to work on the 400, and what has been your experience of that so far? We've had some some performance problems, um, and we've had some problems trying to track the, uh, the Java logs. The logs coming out out of Java. So we're, we're working through. Go ahead. I'm working on my first file maintenance program in free form. Having quite a time with it. And things are going well? Yeah. And I think that I'm looking forward to these two ones. If you have one included that is a subfile maintenance program. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Servers from uh, EI access to the uh, new uh, Intel plane. How's that going for you? Is that smooth? Uh, it's, it's going rather smoothly at this point. Oh, cool. How about you guys? You guys have yeah, ex exciting things? Exciting. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> exciting going on? Nothing exciting at all. So I don't count. You don't count? Okay. My project is going to be selling some of the uh, new servers and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Or server consolidation. I got one new video. The 17 servers we're going to try to get them to consolidate as a new high value. So t tell me about Gateway 400. Tell me about how you're doing and what you think you're going to be doing for the future. Okay, we are um, a user group in St. Louis, Missouri, centered in St. Louis. We um, are currently renewing membership now, trying to build membership. We have about 70 or 80 members who have renewed for the year. But the group is fairly strong, I think, considering the economy in St. Louis and the possible movement away from the System I, but we are a strong group of System I supporters. 
Now, what would you recommend to other user groups who are trying to survive in this economy? Um, that's a good question. But we've had, I think our strong suit has been that we bring in good speakers, good quality speakers. That's what we try and focus on is bringing in topics that people want to hear and speakers people want to hear. So that's what we're okay. hoping to Thank you. Again, that lighting problem, you're going to see those lights in the back there are really screwing up the lighting. Try to angle it so you can see. There's about, oh, 35, 36, 37 something people in here. And they're eating right now. So, what's your name? Mike Cantoni. And um, you were just telling me about um, something you had done on web, interfering with Webster. MQ, actually. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, uh, years ago, I wrote a, uh, a series of modules that, that interfaced it. It was basically a wrapper code over the top of uh, Webster MQ. And what that wrapper code ended up enabling us to do was to have developers that didn't really know anything about WebSphere to be able to write code against it. So if they could open, close, read, and write, that's pretty much all they really needed to do. So you encapsulated it, really? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Encapsulated all the functions. And then you got promoted, is that...? Yeah, yeah, then I got promoted and I didn't, I didn't write any more code after that. <laughs> so you can see I had a lot of fun talk, talking to people about the stuff they're working on. And I also gave two sessions. I, I spoke for about three hours. And um, that was pretty much it. It was, it was a lot of fun. So uh, thank you to Gateway 400 for having me out. And um, that, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.